Partly starved dogs were found abandoned in a Walmart parking lot by holiday shoppers yesterday. Delavan Fleece stepped in to help our Hannah Jewel is live in the newsroom with how they're doing tonight. Hannah? Ben and Suzanne, these dogs are so emaciated they may not be able to recover from this. But some very dedicated vets are on the job and meanwhile, police say they've tracked down the person responsible. Recovery for these two little dogs will take months. Looking at the pictures, I can't imagine anybody with a conscience that would allow something like that. Veterinarians at Lakeland Animal Shelter say the two male dachshund mixes, about six to eight years old, are just skin and bone with very little muscle left on their bodies. They may have only had days to live. Upon intake, we found them to be severely emaciated. There is a chance they may not pull through it, uh, which as emaciated as they are, uh, we can't be sure of the full damage to their vital organs. They were found abandoned Thanksgiving Day in the parking lot of the Walmart on Geneva Street off I-43. Delavan police were called by several people in this parking lot who saw the dogs, noticed how malnourished they looked, so officers came out and rescued them. It's going to be a long road, months before they would be back to any kind of good health at the best. And even then, they could have permanent damage that's irreversible but still survive. Police say they were able to track down the person responsible, tipped off after posting pictures of the dogs on Facebook. If you're going to leave the dogs like that, leave them out and not take care of them, then you shouldn't even have them in the first place. Police say the person will be charged with mistreating animals and animal abandonment and will not be allowed to have them back. A relief to those who shop where they were found. And hopefully a nice loving family can take them in. Don't want their animals. There are plenty of organizations around here to help. And if you'd like to help with a do donation toward the medical expenses for these two dogs, we have more information at our website, fox6now.com. Suzanne, back to you. I have a feeling we'll be hearing from a lot of people. Those pictures are just so tough to see. Hannah, thank you. Oh.